What's up guys? It's Saturday, so I had a little bit of time off, obviously. I figured we'd play a few games. I really want to check out Ukulele, which has been talked about so much over the past two years. Reviews have come out for it, and it appears to not be the best game in the world, and that might be putting it lightly, but I still feel the need to try it out and play it because I've been looking forward to it for so long, and realistically, I mean, it's still a good platformer overall. There's just some serious issues that they may have to address in patches, or if it's not possible, just to live with if you want a game that's like Banjo-Kazooie. So, this is the first world that you're seeing here. I started playing it. I um, haven't had the most time in the world to play it, unfortunately, but I started playing it the other day, and I got a little bit, a few of those pages. So what happens is, if you've played, I don't know, Banjo-Kazooie, for example, uh, you know you collect puzzle pieces, for example. In this case, you collect pages of a book. And the idea, I think, is to then get all the pages so your book is working again. <laughs> um, the, the thing about this game is they kind of threw you into it pretty quickly. There was no real, like... The story was not, like, fleshed out or anything, which I guess this is a game that doesn't really need much of a story since it's a platformer, which is fine. Um, a few of the issues I have with it I'll kind of go over with you guys as we go along here. Um, ooh. See, I haven't really played a lot of this game, so I'm not really sure what half this stuff is, like that guy. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of times you're just exploring. Like, I think right now I'm looking for um, what are basically feathers, and then you have a lot of people like these to kind of talk to as you go along in the world. No voice acting. That's another problem I, get, I think a lot of people have. It was cool with the Banjo-Kazooie series and everything back on the 64 when they kind of had to um, make that work since they didn't really have a lot of space on the cartridge for voice acting or voiceover. So she said I need to look for Molly Cool. Molly cool. <laughs> uh, not really sure what that is, but I do see some feathers up there. I need to get... So what you do is you collect those feathers to, um, to get new moves. And that's a big thing of this game is to get new moves, which then let you... Uh, do different things in the world. So in this case, uh, you buy them from a snake, which is kind of funny. Um, I don't really know why it's a snake, but they that's the one thing I'll give this game some credit for. They're very imaginative with their characters. Like the snake is named Trouser, and he's, he's pretty funny. He's um <laughs> He has a pair of pants, despite him being a, a snake, which is pretty pretty cool concept for a design idea. I'm just being curious. So he has... He, he technically doesn't need shorts, but he has them anyway. <laughs> Um, let's see, I saw a couple of feathers. So, these are, it's definitely a collectathon. And what I mean by that is you collect uh, a lot of stuff. In this case, I collect those feathers that then let me buy moves that then let me collect pages. So, it is collecting, collecting, collecting. If you, if you don't mind that, you're fine. You would like this game. I was going to say he's free, but then we're going to take him. So, you're not free. In fact, you're just whole and then... He just take you, okay. So now, um, I noticed this mechanic too. They say I have enough pages to expand the world. I haven't done this yet. Um, but if I if I leave here, go back to the hub world, and I, I use the pages to then increase, the, I guess, the count of the world, how large it is, and what you can do in it. Um, so I have 25, now I'm getting close. So I guess I need to go back to the hub world. And, uh, yeah, um... And this should, I guess, let me increase the size of the world. So we'll take a shot at that real quick as well. Uh, I assume, yep, there's a loading screen. Another big thing about this game, some of the loading screens are, uh, are one, they're kind of scary, I'll say that, because they seem to freeze a lot. Like, when I first started this game and the loading screen came up, it kind of froze and sat there for several seconds. Like, it'll sit like this for a while when you first start it up. So don't get concerned if that happens. It is actually loading. It just took about 30 to 40 seconds the first time I started the game up for it to load and sat at one of those little frozen spots for like 10 seconds and I was almost positive my PS4 froze. Yes, I do want to expand Tribal Stack Tropics. So they're very, um, yeah, they're very, uh, imaginative with their worlds, I will say that. They're very different. I've seen some reviewers with gameplay footage and this is the first world that I've seen, obviously, but some of those other ones are pretty cool. So now it's larger. I, I assume that means that, uh, I have more stuff to do now. Not that I was really running out of stuff to do. It's just I need more of those feathers to get the next move. That'll then let me get the next page and so on. So here's another loading screen. Um, we'll see how long this one takes. I assume you get one of these every time you leave the area and every time you go in.
that wasn't that actually wasn't so bad i think it was when i first started the game up even like now when i first started up for the stream it was still kind of a lot longer than that i think it's mostly just the the beginning when you first start up uh, oh okay so there's another path over there now um for oh it's shovel knight oh cool that's awesome that's cool yeah let's go meet shovel knight real quick Okay, so this is the path that just opened. I guess we'll just go this way and uh, go see Shovel Knight. That was pretty cool that they added him to this game. I thought that was a really neat idea. But there we go. Cool. See, they have a lot of, like, like where they break a lot of uh, the fourth wall a lot in this game. And uh, I think that's just, I guess, just to be funny. But they do overdo it a lot with the fourth wall breaking. Oh, <laughs> I, I mean that by like hopefully the oh gosh hopefully the camera can help because I can't move the camera at all right now like it's like just stuck where it is um so I can't really see my field of depth with some of this stuff Ooh, like I would actually probably be more comfortable um being on the oh I'm probably not getting that uh, being behind him at that point, just to see, like, further ahead. Here we go. So now I can rotate, which is good. So I can kind of try to see. Oh, there's a feather there. So I only need a few more to, oh gosh, I need a few more to, to unlock the last move. I need 25, and hopefully I get a lot of those on this little, this little, uh, little puzzle thing going on here. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So you need to shoot that with the new ability I got. And I missed it. There we go. Um, okay, I need to shoot this guy. Boom. There we go, I ended up having to freeze the platforms, so I figured that out, which is good. Uh, oh, I'm behind there. Ooh, butterflies. Butterflies either refill your health if you eat them, or they uh, they refill your power meter if you just kind of run into them and absorb them. Um, oh. oh, well that's not good. How do I... Is there another one? Oh, there's one. Okay, good. There's one. I was say, is there one over there? There is. This looks like an interesting puzzle. Oh, okay. I thought that would do it. I guess not. Oh, that only did that one. Oh, okay. I guess I have to aim at that. Alright. There we go. Oh, not quite. There we go. Got it. Wait, what? Where's the other one? Hmm. It's over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So now I need to shoot this one. Hopefully, I had a good time because the other ones are pretty good. Not at all. Next one. Not at all again. <laughs> That's bad. I, I think I can work with that. See, I like that puzzle mechanic. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it seems like if I just sit up here, they can't get me. I'm stuck. Okay. Here we go. 
Or they just don't see me anyway. I'm just going to keep shooting them, I guess. Oh. There we go. Where'd the other pair go? Oh, okay. Well then. Let's shoot the eye out of the, out of the statue. Okay. I don't suppose there's an easy way off here, is there? <laughs> Other than just the standard, like, jump off, I guess, and fall. Well, where would he be? Is he... Oh, there he is. Right by him there. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, word is bad. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, man, I just murdered him. They let me keep the jewel after I fell off, so that's good. Okay, so he gave me a, he gives you a page. All right, that's cool. Well, yeah, there's no mini map though. So he needs a map. Ah. Yeah, guys, that was a quick look at ukulele. Um, just did a quick mission here, or, or, or I guess event for one of the pages. Bought a skill and checked out Shovel Knight. So that was pretty cool overall. Now there's some issues definitely with this game. Um, it's the the camera is not very good from what you've probably already seen. Some of the controls could use some work. Um, and honestly, when you when you do fall off and die, you go all the way back to the beginning. There's no like checkpoints anywhere. So if there are some really big towers out there you have to climb, it's gonna be kind of frustrating, I think, for a lot of people. Considering the camera doesn't help you at all, and if you fall off, you go all the way back to the beginning of the world. So hopefully, hopefully they patch some stuff, especially the camera. I think the visuals look great. I think it's a good-looking game. It's very artistic. Uh, they've made some good design choices with the characters, I think. Yukla and Laylee are very unique and pretty cool. And uh, I look forward to playing more of it and giving you guys more of an idea of what I think of it overall. But so far, the impressions are just okay. It's a platformer. If you enjoy platformers and you can work with things like the camera issue, if you enjoyed Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie, if you like that one more, I like Kazooie more, uh, you, you would probably like this game. It's $40. Uh, I picked it up physically for the PS4. Um, I like to get the games physically if I can, um, especially one like that that was mostly bought digital by a lot of people. So uh, but that's it for now, guys. I will see you next time.